Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. Guys, we got a nice amount of comics. Got one little thing in the mail. Still waiting on a lot of uh, packages uh, which are um, should be arriving within another week or two. A lot of stuff that you buy international just takes, I guess, that extra kind of time to um, get to the house or get to the United States. So I'm still waiting. I did, however, get something small which I'll be showing you guys also after the comics. Guys, thank you so much for all of your amazing feedback. I will be going through the comments um, in a bit at the end of the show. We go through the comments. But the messages and everything, too, thank you guys so much for all the support and all the amazing comments. I'm glad you guys like the new format. I'm really excited for um, the end of the month when we're going to give you guys those extra segments with Transformers and everything else. We're really gearing up for uh, all of it. Plus, good news. The podcast has a name. On the show, we will be calling it The Podcast. But the podcast title will be announced on the first episode of the podcast, so I'm not going to be telling you guys. But we did come up with a name. We did come up with a name. And I have to give props again to Brant. Brant's the one that came up with this awesome name, and everybody loved it. Talked about it with everybody on Comic Frontline, and they really liked it. So I'm going to go with it. And as a matter of fact, um, the intro and outro is gonna, are going to be pre-recorded intros and outros, but you guys are going to really like it. I'm going to really enjoy doing it. I'm actually, uh, BBZ Cast is up already because I'm actually going to start working on it um, tonight, tomorrow, beginning of next week, and the first episode should be up, give or take, middle or end of next week. I have spring break, so I'm going to have a lot of time to uh, do stuff. It's going to be a segment show. It's going to be a segment podcast, so there's going to be different parts to the podcast. That's why I'm saying it's going to be a couple of um, days, because i got to also um, get a couple of things from certain people, and I'm also going to be collaborating uh, on certain parts of the podcast. Uh, first episode, of course, as you guys know, is going to be more of an intro, so expect more of an intro-esque first episode. After that, it's going to be like more of a free, uh, uh, free-for-all, you know, free-flow episode. So let's get into the books this week. These were released this past Wednesday. And all the books are mixed mashed, I believe. No, Michael's books are on the bottom. Let's uh, put Michael's books at the top. So, Iron Fist. The, oh god, what was this? The Lethal Weapon or something like that? The Lethal Warrior, whatever. Iron Fist issue number one. We got the Scott Young variant, just in case Mike doesn't like it. The Spectacular Robin Hood Legend, issue number two. Looking forward to reading that. Constantine, issue number 13. This is an interesting cover for uh, all new X Factor, issue number six. Coffin Hill has a nice cover this week. Uh, issue number... There is no issue number anymore? June 2014. Let me see that. There's no number here. I'm dead serious. I think it's the fifth. Let me see that. Here you go. You can find out. And these have returned. Teenage Mutant Ninja oh, Turtles. Oh, issue seven. Issue Good. seven, thank you. Volume two of the Color Classics, issue number six. Going into my books now, Xenoscope Ascension, issue number three. Daredevil, 1.50. Basically 50 years later. The 25th anniversary issue for all new X-Men. Batman Eternal, issue number one. I'm hearing nothing but spectacular things. Green Lantern Core, issue number 30. I'm going to try to hold on as long as I can, guys. I really am. My issue one, Nightcrawler. Looking forward to that. Superman, Wonder Woman, issue number seven. Batgirl, issue number 30. Let's hope things pick up. All new Ultimates, issue one. I saw the artwork on the inside already, guys. I don't know about the story, so I cannot give you a judgment at this time, but um, let's see if I can give you guys some page art. Um, I want to try to give you guys a good page. Uh, I like how Spider-Man's drawn, I will say that, but there are some pages, I think I missed a page I wanted to use, where, I don't know, it just doesn't really work right. Like, look at Miles here. Down. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, still going to power read through it. I'm going to read through it, and you know what? Sometimes you get used to the artwork halfway through the book, and it just becomes a norm. I also saw a preview for FF, issue number one, for the uh, Ultimates. 
but I am getting it next week. Captain Marvel issue number two. Oh, I left two of Mike's out here. The Walking Dead issue 125 with a wow kind of ending to this one. Can't wait to hear Mike's reaction on that. Uh, you guys know I looked through these books a little bit before the, the haul now. And Superior Foes of Spider-Man issue number 11 with a really nice Daily Bugle cover. And that's it for the haul. Also this week, I did get one extra. I got the hard drive. This is uh, the axle drive for a Cayman Rider Henshin, uh, which we will be getting and reviewing on Comic Frontline. Uh, some of these came separate. I told, I told you guys before about the candy ball machines. Well, this is basically one of the toy machine um, ball drivers because if you want the driver... Um, with the henshin that this comes with, it's about $122. This was, I believe, $5 on eBay, maybe $10 on eBay. eBay is your friend when you want to buy international stuff because it's a lot cheaper on eBay sometimes because I believe a lot of the eBay stuff is doubles that people get. So they're looking just to make like a $2 profit or something because I believe these are only about like $2 American in, in uh, Japan. So $5, you're only paying, what, $3 more? So, I got the Axel one. Hopefully sometime this week we will be getting the driver. I'll do a special unboxing for the driver. Review, like I said, will be on Comic Frontline. Uh, there will be a review on all the stuff we got for Sentai on uh, Comic Frontline soon. Now that we got all the bonus stuff for there. And there will be a couple of Cayman Rider things that we'll be reviewing on Frontline. I am also looking into a couple of um, Figu Arts figures. So look into that. Uh, Mike's also going to be looking into some SH Figu Arts figures. So... We'll see how that goes, but this uh, this and the Cayman Rider with the um, coins, Cayman Rider O's, which is triple O, this is W. I'm still unfamiliar with the titles for the series. Jay, if you're watching this, you could tell everybody what uh, this is from, and I know the other one is triple O, so Cayman Rider triple O is the one with the coins. This one I, I can't remember for the life of me. So anyway, let's go into this week's comments. And we're starting with the haul from last week where I made the announcement that something big was coming. Spice Nug started it off with, Hey Chris, are you and Mike thinking about getting the new Batman game when it, when it comes out? Yes. Well, let's see. We got Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, and we just got Batman Arkham Origin. I think it's pretty safe to say yes. <laughs> so definitely going to be looking into that. Then we got the, I'm going to say Care because it's C-A-R-3. So... The Caretaker. Hey guys, new fan here. Love all the videos. Thank you so much. Uh, my first question is, are those actual comics on the wall? These are all actual comic books. Not reprints, not anything. And actually the second part, or are they reprinted covers? No. These are actual comic books. This one especially is an actual comic. Um, and how do you put them up? Two-way tape. If you could pass me the two-way tape, it's right over there. I can show you guys what I use. It's a full row of two-way tape. It's brought to you by Scotch. It's mounting tape. You take it, you cut it into little squares. I cut it into full, four tiny squares. One, two, three, four on the wall. And you could take the comic off whenever you want. No, I did that on purpose. I wanted it to come off. And then you can replace it with whatever other comic you want. Now, the thing is, I'm going to probably put this back crooked, but I'll fix it later. No, I actually put it back straight. Good for me. And it stays. No problem. However, if you're going to take it off the two-way tape, I advise you put it, put something directly back on it because the dust will form, and then you got to take the two-way tape off the wall, which is a bitch. You need a little scraper sometimes, especially with these walls. And, yeah, then you got to put new two-way tape. So then, that's such an awesome idea. Thank you again. Um, my second question is, how much do you know about the upcoming original Sin series? Uh, the death of the Watcher, and it's going to be about the Marvel Universe finding out who killed the Watcher and where the Watcher's eyes went. And I already have a few predictions. Uh, and will you be keeping up with it? I will keep up with the miniseries. As far as connecting books, like, for example, if it goes into a book, I'm not reading, like, Uncanny X-Men, original Sin tie-in. Probably not, but I'll try to keep up with the miniseries, which is six issues, and any book that I'm getting that's connected to Original Sin or something that looks interesting, I'll jump into. I, w I can't promise you I'll get everything, but I can promise you that on Comic Frontline, I'm sure almost 90% of the stuff will be covered, if not 100%. 
Um, it's Frank. Have you and Mike uh, read any Disney comics? DuckTales, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, and Darkwing Duck. Love Darkwing Duck. I did review a couple of issues back then. Chippendale, I believe I reviewed the first three issues. Um, DuckTales, I did not. And uh, what else? Tailspin, I didn't even know they had a comic. But, uh, oh yeah, it did. I, we didn't get it at the time. Unfortunately, money was tight back then, so we had to make cuts, and unfortunately, those were the books we cut. Uh, however, I would love to finish Darkwing Duck, and I would love to finish uh, Chippendale. Unfortunately, the contract with Boom and Disney expired, and now Disney's with uh, Marvel, so all the Marvel, all the stuff is coming out from Marvel. Although, I would have loved to have seen Darkwing Duck continue, which it hasn't yet. Going into Nick... First, before the questions, um, I did make a comment on Comic Book Review 230. Now the questions. Okay, I'll check out the comment, Nick. I'm sorry, I didn't. I guess I missed. You probably I missed it when I did the recording, and you commented after I did this video already. Um, now the questions. First, how is it that two characters, Deadpool and Carnage from the 90s, um, are making the debut the same year, but one month apart, never met each other before now? I don't know. Go as Marvel. That's not something I can answer. Second, for me, what is your least favorite crossover from DC Comics and Marvel Comics? DC Comics, least favorite? Countdown. Uh, Marvel-wise, Original Sin. Okay. Third, for both of you, uh, what if the Thunderbolts from the current volume was made into a TV show? I highly doubt they would ever do that. What do you think? I don't even think it would make it, right. to be Fourth, honest. Fourth, also for both of us, what is your guy's favorite villain from the comics, Lex Luthor? Um, well, it was, uh, I would say... You hate Green Goblin, dude. Well, I like uh, Carnage or Venom, Carnage Venom. as uh, okay. their villain. And then we have Lego Geek 4671. It's 4000 before the 671. It's 400671. Do you guys read Hawkeye, and if so, what do you guys think of it? Yes, I've been reviewing every single issue, issue on my reviews. I've been loving it, but now the story seems like it's taking forever to get through. So it's kind of starting to stall a bit, but I have faith that possibly it'll pick up. If not, it'll probably end up in the drop pile. Now we're going into the indie review. Nick, first thing was, I think, uh, yeah, quote, uh, one other thing, Eric Larson is the creator of Savage Dragon and Cardiac. Oh, because it's probably part of the question, which is, what is your view of writer Eric Larson? Um, I've read Era of Savage Dragon. I really like his work, honestly. Yeah, I've read a lot of Savage Dragon. I just don't review it, but I do read it. Second, who created Comic Related? That's something you have to go to Brant for. I did not create Comic Related. Comic Related was actually around longer than Comic Frontline, way longer than Comic Frontline. Third, are you still reading The X-Files Conspiracy? Yes, uh, we gave an honorable mention for the last issue. It didn't go as well as we were hoping. Fourth, for Mike, of course I clicked the button and then it went off. Give me a second, Mike, and I'll get you your question. Okay. Um, did you know that the current creative team for Red Hood and the Outlaw is going to do the next volume of Teen Titans, the comic... Com uh, is coming out in July. I did not know that until just now, so thank you. I'll probably look into that if the story picks up well, because so far it's being a little eh eh. Alright, I'm going to go into the update video because I want to reply to your guys' comments on here. I did get one or two. Spider Man 1991, hey Chris, really like your announcements and looking forward to your new format. Do you plan on getting Superman when Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr. take over? I'm buying Superman regardless. Uh, I'm not a fan of John Romita Jr.'s artwork, but I'll struggle through it for what? 12 issues the max? Also, did you see Captain America Winter Soldier? Not yet. Mike Spider Slayer. Nice job, Chris. Looking forward to the future with your channel. Thank you, Mike. Sleepy Reader 666. Hey, Damien. Long time no see. All sounds like good changes. I'd love a podcast to listen to on my commute. Awesome, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I love the team of you and Mike. Oh, and congrats on the baby. Don't know how you have energy for any of this. <laughs> yeah, it's a struggle, but I, I always have extra energy. And then Kat commented, looking forward to the changes, Chris. Thank you, Kat. Moving on, now we're in the Marvel review. 
And, okay. Marvel. Going to the bottom. Justin Paget said, um, I hope I said your last name right. Nice review. The new format seems to flow well. Thank you very much. I was hoping that it would do that. Nick said first, did you see Captain America Winter Soldier yet? Just answered that. Second from Mike, did you ever play the Punisher 2005 game? Uh, I did hear reviews about it and they said it was not really as good. I mean, I might look into it in the future, but I don't know. I just got mixed reviews about that it was good, it was not, but it's something I would like to look into though. Third, do you guys think with characters like Punisher, Daredevil, and Ghost Rider on the West Coast, do you think that we might get a team come together or a crossover? Absolutely. Yes, I could actually see that. Fourth from Mike, did you know besides X Factor and Incredible Hulk, Peter David has also written Aquaman and Supergirl in the 90s? Really? I really did not know that. I thought he was just strictly for Marvel and just working with X Factor. Then Cat commented, love the new format, Chris, but I do recommend you annotate the DC video. I will do that. I actually forgot to do that. Thank you for reminding me on this comment. Then Mara Badillo said, wow, Chris, I thought Moon Knight was fantastic. Maybe you're not enjoying it right now. You can pick it up and trade as always. Keep up the good work. I actually was thinking about that, Mario, so thanks for that idea. But, um, yeah, I think that would be better. Maybe it would be better instead of having it as single issues. Um... Cat also commented, I think it can be Norman in the shadows. I still don't think it's Peter. Well, Cat, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Just don't say I didn't tell you it was going to be him. Continuing on, we are now in the comic review for DC. Justin Paget, again, I hope I'm saying your last name right, bro. Uh, nice review. I'm going to have to pick up Earth 2. Sounds great. It's spectacular. Spectacular. I would highly recommend it. New format is awesome. Keep it up. Thank you again. Nick, first, do you guys think the Avengers, uh, that Avengers world is like the replacement for Avengers Assemble series? Not really. I think Avengers Assemble was just an extra one. Second, did you know that the last time that Daredevil was in San Francisco was the 1970s? There was a mention. I saw that in an interview. Third, have you thought of reading the previous runs of Daredevil by Mark Wade? I... There was only one other run to my knowledge, and I've read the entire volume of it. Fourth, uh, what do you guys, what are your guys' most favorite and least favorite movie? Most favorite right now, as far as movies? That's a good question. I have a lot of favorite movies. I can't pick just one. What about you, Mike? Uh, most favorite would be a tie between uh, Avengers and The Incredible Hulk. Although Spider-Man 2 kind of has a runner-up Yeah, class. I have too many to do that. Least favorite? I would have to go with... Hulk. Well, Oh, yeah, the Hulk first movie, definitely. And uh, there was another one. I Catwoman. can't remember. I didn't even watch Not it. Catwoman. I can tell you, I know Catwoman sucked. I think it was Elektra, but I never reviewed Elektra. So... That's my least favorite. And then favorite. we have D-O-S-H bag 612. Sorry, I won't say it on air. Uh, this new setup is awesome since I only read DC Comics. I'm glad you actually enjoy this um, format better. And then Kat said, I'm dropping Green Lantern now. It is boring me to death. There are too many titles on my pull list to keep up. To keep Green, oh, to keep Green Lantern. And then I got triple dots. I'm guessing uh, that's how she left it. That or the stupid thing is not showing me the full comment. So if you left more, Kat, sorry, but my iPod cut you off. Uh, Green Lantern. I'm gonna try to strength. I'm gonna try to power through a little bit longer. I have faith that once we get through whatever this stupid thing is, provided it doesn't take forever, which, from what my understanding is, it's gonna be going all the way into July. So there's a lot of room for me to get fed up with it and probably end up dropping it. But for right now, I'm stomaching it a bit longer. Maybe it'll get better. Heck, if it gets any worse, I'm definitely gonna be dropping it. So, no worries there. Uh, a lot of number ones are coming out next week, guys. A lot of um, new things. This was a very small pile this week, so I'm guessing that the reviews are going to be about as short as they were last week, if not a little shorter, because I think I have uh, more annuals this week than anything else. So look forward to the two reviews. Look forward to the indie review, which actually the indie books are also very short this week, so it must be just an easy week for the month of April, but uh, things will be picking up, I have a feeling, next week with both the big two reviews 
and the indie review. Look forward to uh, the, the Xenoscope book you saw here. That will be at the Xenoscope books. I'm sorry, Mike had one and I have one. Both these books will be reviewed at the end of the month in the Xenoscope um, recap video. Look forward to a lot of stuff and look forward this week sometime to the new podcast on my channel. Tomorrow night should be the indie review and the comic review with this many books. I can promise you guys it's probably going to be out on Monday morning. Both of them or at least one of them and then the other one will follow right behind it. All depends on uploading time guys. You know how YouTube is so I'll have both of them shot. I'm just hoping both of them will go up. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to check out Comic Related and ComicFrontline.com. We are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Take care, everybody.